Someone called HG has asked, <coughs> how many troubled babies do you think have mothers who have emotional difficulties? Oh. And I guess the implication there is, is it the emotional difficulties that are prompting the unsettled nature? So, absolutely. Well, we know <coughs> if you have a caregiver that is stressed, that means you have a sympathetically dominant nervous system trying to listen to cues and they miss those cues. And the more they miss those cues, the more the child has to shout louder and louder and louder. Mm -hmm. So uh, a, a, lovely way, HG, a lovely way of explaining this is if you were to go into a restaurant, let's say you're a baby, because first of all, we, we think that being unsettled and crying is the first thing that babies do. It's the last thing that they do. Okay, if you go into a restaurant and you sit down at the restaurant and you, your lovely date is there and you're waiting and you put your hand up to try and get someone's attention and they walk right by you. Fair enough. The next time they come, you go, <clears throat> could you, no, and they walk. Eventually, you're going to get up, you're going to stand in the middle of the kitchen, you're going to shout and lose your mind. Babies are very much the same thing. So babies have a body language conversation yeah. they'd love to have with you, but they have to be on you. And if they're not on you, they miss that. Then they have their pre-cry, which is their little goo and gars, and those all have little meanings that you can pick up if you know what you're looking for. It's only when that doesn't work that that graded severity starts to kick in yeah. and they start shouting and screaming. So if you have uh, a caregiver who's not sensitive to those cues, and we know that postnatal depression dampens your sensitivity, yeah. it dampens that limbic input and, input, and that's not great. Mm -hmm. So that's why working with uh, like postnatal depression is so, so important. But absolutely right. And what we know as well is that if you look at children that are taken to an emergency ward or an A&E with a reflux, there, there is a, there is, it's a fivefold more likelihood that that mother will have some sort of psychological something going on yeah. if she arrives with her child at the A and E with reflux. Yeah, so it doesn't have, doesn't have to be um, postnatal depression, does it? And there are lots of people living in very stressful oh. households or environments. Maybe several other kids or whatever else. Oh, absolutely. 